So it has been four months since my last review, and while I have a rather large project in the works, probably shouldn't put off the reviews any longer. So let's dive back into the Rise of the Beasts line. My name is Scent, and today on Scent Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Air Razor. Air Razor was released in 2023 as part of the first wave of the Deluxe lineup and had an intended retail price of $22. That being said, her single pack release never saw US shores, instead being part of a Target exclusive 3 pack with Deluxe Bumblebee and Mirage. She was the first of the Deluxe figures leaked for the line. Start off the load, Air Razor is a mechanical falcon. And, well, it's a pretty nice looking off one if I do say so myself. Um, it's definitely not as impressive in some places as the um, Studio Series 1, specifically in Wingspan, but overall, I think in a lot of areas it pulls off better than the SS. Um, but in general, I do like this offload quite a bit. Now one of the more notable differences between this and the SS right off the bat is the fact that this is a completely new mold. Um, the Studio Series 1 shares engineering with um, Kingdom Air Razor. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a more interesting figure in my opinion, and I think the alt mode shows this because this actually has some mass to it. It feels less like a robot squatting down and more like an actual bird, which I do quite like. The mechanical detailing is pretty nice with the nice metallic feathers, um, lots of bronzes, lots of silvers, um, generally feels very aged. The head sculpt, not movie accurate, but neither is Studio Series, honestly, but in general, I think it is a honestly a pretty cute little bird head. Um, torso is a bit stumpy, but it's it's at least better than having a, basically a robot squatting down. Articulation is quite straightforward. Wings can move. Legs are formed by the arms, so they have the full range of movement there. For size comparison, here she is with Kingdom Air Razor. And, yes, I have Kingdom Air Razor's wings folded up because, with them fully spread, I couldn't fit both of these on the turntable. Here she is with Rise of the Beasts Scorponok. This is the weaponizer one right here. Her packmate, Deluxe Mirage. And then my standard for comparison, Siege Sideswipe. Overall, as a beast mode, this is pretty solid. It doesn't have the most dynamic articulation, especially when it comes to the wings, but in general, as a, a bird mode, I think it works better than the SS in a lot of ways. Most notably the fact that, due to the fact that it's not just reusing the Kingdom tooling, it looks more concise as a bird, in general. Anyway, on to transformation. Air Razor ranks as a 3 in complexity. While very simple at its core, it's also very unique in its engineering. Air Razor transformation is unique, is the only way I can put it. So we're gonna come up to the wings and take out her swords. And we're just gonna take the um, feathered portion and sort of untap it from the rest of it. Next, we're going to take these front portions of the wings and just bring them up. Swivel them on there. Untab the wing tip, pull them back, and then bring down the foot. Same thing on the other side. Uh, they do lock into place with a very audible click, so, yeah. Next, we're gonna come to the bird legs and just sort of strain them out to turn them into the robot arms. So just sort of strain them out, swivel them around. Come up 
come to the bird head, pop it up, swivel at 180, and then we're going to swing the waist forward, flip up the head, which can get caught on the side flanks of our chest sometimes, and then lock the entire waist assembly into place, and just sort of also get our arms into place. Come to the wing portion right here. We're gonna hinge it back. And finally, flip up the shoulder pads. And there we have Air Razor in robot mode. The way I can describe Air Razor in robot mode is elegant. Now, Air Razor never actually transformed in the movie, so we never got to see her robot mode. So, this is right out of the designer's head, and I think it looks really, really nice. It definitely feels like Air Razor, but it feels like a new, unique take on her. The robot itself feels very slender and very athletic, um, with it feeling almost kind of muscular, but in, like I said, a very sort of agile, athletic way. Um, and in general, it's just a nice look for the figure. It bolts her out nicely. She feels solid in the hands. And that head sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. It's very well painted, too, which is always appreciated on figures of this level. In the way of accessories, Air Razor, of course, comes with her sword, which I do actually like quite a bit more than the Studio Series' um, sort of generic wrist missiles. It gives her a bit of personality. It sort of... It sort of... It more fits in with the more primitive weapons that the other Maximals use such as, obviously, Cheetor's staffs, Rhinox's battle hammer, and Primal's, um, scimitars. Um, so it works well, and it fits in with the rest of the Maximals. Air Razor overall is pretty good when it comes to articulation. Ball-jointed head, universal shoulders, bend and swivel at the elbows, um, wrists kind of bend upwards most of her transformation, no waist, um, universal hips, swivel at the thigh, very solid knee bend right there, and a bit of tilt at the foot. So, well, not to the level as most, um, um, more for Cybertron or Legacy figures, it's still not horrible. And besides, I forgot to point this out, the articulated wings. I absolutely love those. It brings so much life to her. Here she is with Kingdom Air Razor, and as you can see, they're roughly the same size, and honestly, in the way of in robot mode, I do feel they're a little more evened out, um, but yeah, they're roughly the same size, and I do think that um, she could just fit into, or ROTV Air Razor could just fit into any Beast Wars display, really. Here she is with Scorponok, once again, about the same size, but Scorponok is basically almost entirely hollow space. And of course, the classic, my go-to, Siege Sideswipe. Here she is with her packmate, Mirage. Air Razor is an extremely solid figure with two great looking modes, a unique transformation, good articulation, a good hand feel, and just overall being a solid representation of the character. Um, overall, I think this is a significantly better, if not significantly more interesting figure than the Studio Series. And if you can track one down, whether it be through the multi-pack, importing it in from Japan like I did, or getting it in through the, um, the um, of reissues that we're supposed to be getting next year this is a figure that I definitely do highly recommend for your collection.
Eraser is one of the best figures in the mainline, and is a prime example of a mainline figure overshadowing its Studio Series counterpart. This topic brings us to... our next subject. See you guys next time! Bye!